Welcome to MMD School. I'm Little Shadow Girl, your teacher. Today, you'll learn how to make models and even VR chat avatars in PMXC. Make a goal of what you want your model to look like. My model has a candy theme, so I searched for um, can MMD candy jewelry and MMD cake dress on DeviantArt and got a lot of results. Sometimes I will also do a Google search. When considering a part for your model, decide if it fits your model's look. It you can and will follow the rules by set by whoever made it. If it is and if it is PMX and not PMD. If the parts live up to those three standards, you can use it to make your .PMX model. If you choose a sour base, you cannot port it to VR Chat because Sour does not want their parts to be used in VR Chat. After you've chosen which part you want for your model. Make a folder for your model and download the parts. We're going to extract the base, and after we're done, we're going to delete it. We're going to delete the condensed um, con version. We repeat this process with the other condensed files of the parts, just moving and cop extracting them, and then moving or copying those files back into your individual model folder over here and putting the textures into the model's text folder. So you can delete readme files after you've read them or text files if you've picked out a texture that's different from the original included in the part. So we will pick eye textures by moving them or copying them into the folder just like we would um, any, other, any other thing. Um, and you can even give a model two different eye eye colors and make them and ha give them heterochromia, which is the scientific name of the condition. I'm now we're going to um, actually put change the textures from the original on the model in the PMX editor. So we're gonna open we're gonna open the editor. Um, and the link is is in the description to download it. If we're going to so now we're going to click M over here, ah, and it'll open up this list. So you're going to find which of these bones over here on this list. Um, we can turn by selecting and deselecting whatever parts on the list um, disappear when you select that bone. That's what the bone controls. So. So you'll know if the pieces appear when you deselect a bone, that that bone is, is what controls the pupils. So next we're going to deselect, we're going to, to check none, and then just select this bone over here. Um, make sure that parts is selected, and then right click th and Wait just a minute. We're going to open the model window, the smaller. Enter the material list over here and click on the bone number that was in the list 14 in this case. And we'll go into this text area over here and then we're going to type in the um, name of the, f the file of the texture. You have to include the .png. Go to Edit in the model window and just go down to plugin, then user, then UV editor export, then go into material and select the eye bone. Remember, in this case, it's 14, although every model is different. Now, what we do now is make sure that it is on the select or, or move setting over here in the vertex editing thing. And then I'm going to select this black web of UV-ness, make sure that the whole thing is selected, and move it over the eye. You can also change the, the size and shape and the scale setting. Um, and I knew that this was the correct uh, web because it was, it was, it had, it was covering the only uh, part of the eye that was showing. So once you're done, you're going to hit apply changes on the bottom right. If you want, you can have a model with heterochromia, which is just a fancy word for having two different eye colors. 
Box select the I you wish to change. Go into the M list, right click it, and split it. Only select the new eye bone. Go into the model window and find it on the material list. Then we're going to change the texture like before. And boom, two different eye textures. Change the eyebrow color by finding it on the list first. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but that is hilarious. Uh, and there we go, bone 13. Then we're going to go into the model window, find it on the material list again. Um, go into ambient, click on that gray thing and choose a color and click OK. Now that I kind of have the base, I'm going to save it. You want to save things frequently, um, just so that you don't lose your progress and all your hard work and stuff. Now it's time to get her naked. I mean, we're going to add and remove garments and bones. So make sure that you deselect all but the bones you want to remove on the material list. So left, so we can uh, do the the sort of lasso select thingy up here, and make and make sure that you uh, have selected the bones, joints, vertices, and faces that so that you delete all of those things. Now we're going to go into the model window um, and we're going to hit delete. So we're, and yes, add clothes by going into file open through the model window and choose, and I'm going to choose the shoes. The, if they're white, it's probably be because they don't have their textures, which you fix by going to the material list and typing them in the text box like they did, like we did with the eyes. Um, now we're going to select the vertexes, the bones, the rigid body, and the joints. Select it. And then we're going to move it back. And then we'll save it um, and we're going to continue doing that with all of the all of the parts now load your model uh, then we will go into file and click import we're going to add the shoes. Now we're going to select vertex, bone, and bone physics. And now we're going to select the shoes. No. And move them back. You should add hair last when making a model. So we're going to change hair texture by going into material list and finding the hair on it, but these are already named anyway, so on my model, so it's fine. So now we're going to go into the model window, find material, get those hair textures and on the list and rename the file like we did with, with the eyes. Sometimes it is helpful to enter sub view while attaching a part to a model. Save the model again. Once you're done adding 
the parts. Weigh items like hair and accessories or the floor or the float around in MMD while the rest of your model moves. Turn on bones. Find them find the hair bone on the mask list and then only select those. And then but turn off parts. You're going to click on the head bone and which is what you're going to weight the hair to and then click W click start and then we are going to highlight the area with the black dots until they're all red then click start again now the bone is waved so save the model now go into your model folder and delete all the parts other than the model and the f folders that were originally there, like the text and folders and stuff. Breaking news! I have an Instagram. S subscribe, because at 100 subs, I'm making a Discord server. Stay calm, stay safe, God bless.